Hello everyone. So now I'm going to solve the problem in B. Based on the definition, this would be the case for all. So 1 over 3 minus x greater equals to 2. Or 1 over 3 minus x less than equals to negative 2. Let's focus on the left hand side. Step number one, I'm going to transfer the 2 to the left hand side so that the right hand side become 0. Next, I'm going to equate the denominator. So 1 over 3 minus x minus 2 greater equals to 0. 1 minus 2 bracket 3 minus x over 3 minus x greater equals to 0. 1 minus 6 plus 2x over 3 minus x. Simplify the situation. 2x minus 5 over 3 minus x greater and equals to 0. So since this is a simplest form, so it is the time to decide it is a positive value. Next, I'm going to split the situation. Do remember, every time we split, we must assume that it is always positive. So where we have 2x minus 5 greater equals to 0. Next one, 3 minus x only greater than 0 because there is a restriction where the denominator cannot be equal to 0. So finally, x will be greater than equals to 5 over 2 and x will be less than 3 for the left hand side. Next, what I'm going to do is to illustrate the situation in a real number line. So let's have a value 5 over 2 and 3. Then circle x which is greater than or equal to 5 over 2 empty circle x is less than 3 then we are going to put the value this negative sign value in the empty space because this is a positive real number line so finally we have negative positive and negative in order to determine the region we have to refer the sign in here which is a positive so here will be our answer so finally from 5 over 2 until 3, where 3 is not included. Next, I'm going to focus on the right hand side. Again, repeat the process, transfer the value, and equate the denominator. So here we will have 1 plus 2, 3 minus x over 3 minus x less than equals to 0. Next, we have to expand and simplify the situation. 1 plus 6 minus 2x over 3 minus x less than equals to 0. Negative 2x plus 7 over 3 minus x less than equals to 0. Since this is a simplest form, so it is the time to decide the sign. So where we have a negative sign. Next, we are going to split the expression. Do remember, always assume that it's a positive. So negative 2x plus 7 greater equals to 0. 3 minus x greater than 0. Simplify the situation. We will have x less than equals to 7 over 2. x less than 3. So next, I'm going to illustrate the situation in a real number line. So where we have 3 on the left and 7 over 2 on the right. So empty circle, x less than 3. Then circle, x great less than equals to 7 over 2. Again, Fill up the space with a negative sign because this is a positive real number line. And we will have positive, negative and positive. Do remember, 
in order to know the region we have to refer to the sign so which is a negative sign so our answer will be 3 until 7 over 2 where the 3 is not included so now for the second part we are going to illustrate the situation or the answer for the left and right into a number line so let's plot the value so where we have 5 over 2 on the left in the middle will be 3 and followed by 7 over 2 let's refer to the region on the left where we have dense circle and empty circle so it will be the inequalities on number line next we are going to focus on the right hand side where we have 3 an empty circle and then circle for 7 over 2 then we have to connect the point finally by referring to the definition or meaning that we have to shaded the region so here will be the region so finally our answer will be 5 over 2 until 3 where 3 is not included union 3 where 3 is not included until 7 over 2 so here we are and thanks for watching